President Mohamed Buhari has granted a presidential pardon and clemency to 2,600 inmates nationwide. This includes 70 inmates who are at the Kuje Maximum Custodia Center. Correspondent Happy Dalawa reports. The outbreak of the coronavirus pandemic has caused for the review of correctional terms of inmates at the National Correctional Service across the country. The service has 73,756 inmates, out of which 21,773 are convicted while others are still awaiting trial. These figures show that the 250 custodial facilities are overstretched and cannot adequately house the large number of inmates. It is why President Muhammad Buhari granted this presidential amnesty to help decongest correctional centers across the country. Inmates granted amnesty are those with state offenses and those that could not afford to pay for fines. It's become more apparent for government to look into the issue of those incarceration. And we're happy that SSRs will have taken measures to ensure that COVID-19 does not see the doors of any of our custodial centers. Mr. President has also graciously granted pardon to five ex-convicts. My office will take necessary steps to publish the names of these beneficiaries in the Federal Gazette in line with the extant laws and regulations. This flag off is the first phase and the committee will continue to meet regularly to consider those who deserve the benefit of pardon. 2,600 are still in the arms of the governors. That's, that's the face of the process. But that's not the end of it, even at that. The government at the subnational level are to again revive their prerogative of mercy committees to regularly visit the custodial centers and recommend deserving inmates or deserving and qualified inmates for amnesty. For these inmates, their joy knows no bound. The taste of freedom to reunite with the society. I am very happy that God has done something, which I have been praying for long, that God should cause the country to do so, God should cause something that will happen, that will cause the federal government to release me. The process of selecting beneficiaries started in 2018. The beneficiaries are warned to deceased from crimes. The major problem confronting the Nigerian National Correctional Service is congestion caused by persons awaiting trial. With this move, the Nigerian government is hopeful that it will be able to curb the spread of the coronavirus pandemic. Habida Lawal, TVC News, Abuja.